my first poem is, in called, uh, is entitled Crujan Water. Crujan Water calls me. I can pray in the shallow between the beach and the coral for hours, lay my prayers against Yemoja's tongue and wait to be lifted. Crujan Water is like that, always baptismal, always mineral full, a looking glass that shows clean to the bottom of the hulls of ships. I watch the waters at night. No aquarium conjures like this. The sea turtles twist beneath the pier with a certain glide. Fish that sweep and glow, ready for the night sky, cast full of stars. A virgin island, where industry hasn't dusted its dirty hand or wrung its rot in any river. I tumble out onto the pier at midnight, catch a cousin hanging around sometimes. Frederickstead is beautiful at night. I walk cobblestone streets collected by the Danish and stolen by the United States, wind warm and misleading. This is where the first rebellion began. On this pier, says my cousin Troy, St. Croix forced the hand of abolition first. It was the enslaved people that rushed them, outnumbered them, and then outmaneuvered. They demanded freedom and were heeded. Before ships carrying enslaved people reached the mainland, America. They would first stop in the Virgin Islands to drop off the leaders, those who rebelled aboard the ships, those who organized others and moved with stealth. It accounts for our demeanor and attitude, the music and the violence of our hands scrambling in the tongue. The language is our own. You can speak Krujan or Yankin, but they are not the same thing. I born mainland speak Yankin. My crucian leans. When I go home, I want my teeth to clap and stomp with muscle lip. Music on every note, not with an American clamor in the back of my throat. It's all really in the water. The lull of ocean and sand. The legacy is in its rhythm. The comfort of knowing that I too am made of her image takes me home. St. Croix, I love you. Dedicated that one to my cousins Troy and Janine.